Hey, hey what's going on, my friends? Hey, hey, there he is. Oh, oh fell off the internet for a while. Fell off the edge of the planet. My friend. Hey, my name's Dave Sharp, and as always, my friends, welcome to the greatest show on earth, marketing show at least. Uh, internet marketing show. Show about selling digital products, information products. We're obviously a little bit biased, but, um, you know, some of the, one of the greatest marketers ever was Ringham and, Bar- Ringham and Barley and, or Ringham and Barnum and Bailey Circus. They said they had the greatest show on earth. Um, that's because Legendary Marketer wasn't around yet. Uh, and in 2024 here, uh, I can tell you that uh, what the marketplace is looking for is real, relatable, and uh, solutions from regular people, mostly found online. And we have lots of those uh, here inside of our community. Um, today is no different. Coming to you all the way from California this morning is going to be a guest uh, who has tried many things in her entrepreneurial career. Uh, she has done, you know, the drop shipping, the, the Amazoning, the, you know, eBaying and, you know, Facebooking and MLMing and all the other acronyms and uh, has landed in our world and is making this work. Um, and so we're going to learn what the difference is between some of her past business learning experiences. We won't call them failures. Uh, and why she's having so much success now, building her business, building her audience, generating leads online, obviously earning income in her business. You're going to hear about her life, her lifestyle, um, some of the results that she's gotten. And I want to point out that the average how-to person that buys any information online makes no money at all, um, period. Why? Well, I mean, we tend to believe that, you know, change is hard, right? Sticking with something is hard. Being consistent is hard. And then the odds of just, you know, having everything working for you, um, being in the right mindset, uh, having the right support both at home and on on whatever it is that you're doing. Um, You know, a lot of the stars have to align for you to be successful, And so we're trying here in this community to align those stars for our clients here, at least to do our part and to teach you and share with you the strategy, skill sets and and mindset that you have to have in order to be successful. And it is going to be a big shift for you. So you should expect hard work, dedication, taking risks, uh, developing your work ethic and possibly working harder than you've ever worked before in different ways than you've ever worked before. Not particularly digging ditches and working construction sites like I did when I first came in, but applying yourself, you know, sometimes hunched over your computer, staring at your phone, filming videos, putting yourself out there. These are the things we're talking about. So let's hear this morning's guest story all the way from California. My friends, it's an honor and a privilege to welcome you. Rosanna, how are you? Good morning. I'm good. Hi, Dave. Hey, welcome. And you've Thank not been you. prepped or scripted for the show. Is that right? God, no, I'm so nervous. <laughs> I'm so nervous. All right. Well, um, I'll give you some of my relaxation over to you. Some of my, <laughs> some of my chill. And so, Your chill, um, Juju. Thank you. Yeah, I told you I just rolled out of bed here uh, a few minutes ago <laughs> be- before we, we went live. And so, you know, it's, it's, um, Sometimes I'm up early, sometimes I'm not, uh, and this morning uh, I was getting a little extra sleep, but that's because um, I can, and exactly. because I want to, <laughs> you know, and because I needed it, and so um, tell us about your journey here. How did you, you know, get here? What are you looking for? Um, what, you know, what led you here to Legendary? What's what's brought you here? Is this odd? Is it God that you're here? I mean, you know, what, what, uh, uh, how did we cross paths and why did you stay? All right. So I have been on a mission for years to find the side hustle. Um, I work full time, um, and 
I've always wanted something a little bit more, you know, we're in San Diego and our income, my husband works full time, I work full time and we're in San Diego. So, you know, we have a home and property tax and all these things where if we just had one income, it wouldn't be doable for us right now. And so I've always been looking for something else to alleviate some of the financial pressure um, and over time to make it so I could spend more time with my kids. And so when I was pregnant with one of my girls, I bought, you know, um, one of, an MLM product and I was so stoked and excited, but I had no idea what I was doing. And then I realized that I didn't really want to sell to my family and friends, which was what was being pushed. Um, and so I tried a couple of those and then I tried drop shipping and I actually made like tens of thousands of dollars in drop shipping but the customer service was killing me. Like there, I, I could work eight hours a day on that. Um, and so instead of persevering and pushing through on it, I stopped and, you know, we've done some Amazon FBA, but finding products um, was proved to be a little bit challenging for us. And one day I was scrolling Facebook mom book <laughs> and I, came across someone's video and I clicked on it and I'm like, oh, what? And I didn't sit on it. I bought it immediately. Um, I scrolled every single one of this girl's videos, seeing exactly what, what she was doing and um, what was making her successful. I um, bought the $7 course. Um, I, <laughs> before Papa Don even tried to, you know, tell me about the upsell and what was happening. I had already purchased it. And it was, it was like, I was running the show with him. I'm like, listen, I'm doing this. Can you please unlock all the other days? What do I need to do? <laughs> um, and so um, as soon as I saw this opportunity, I was just so incredibly motivated and said, you know, if she could do that, why not me? And it was, I don't know, eye opening. Wow. That's, that's, um, that's cool. I was just uh, messaging Papa Don. He, he uh, earned himself a Rolex, and so uh, I yeah. was. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was, I was. Uh, I sent him to a jewelry store and had him get his wrist all fitted up and all that kind of stuff. He he just oh, turned so he just turned eighty. He just turned that's eighty. That's so awesome. That's not why he he he's, he earned himself a Rolex. You know, <laughs> you <know. laughs> just, just so you know. Happy um, birthday, Papa Don. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Uh, it, Wow. You've tried it all. You've, you've, uh, you've got limited time. I'm hearing, mm -hmm. um, you know, you, you, you're, you're in a, you know, middle-class, uh, sort of lifestyle yeah. two income household, high tax state, right? <laughs> Lord right? help us. <laughs> you got, you got a lot of odds against you, yeah. but you have, this uh desire for for more and you're willing to do the work mm -hmm. and you um you you're noticing that and you've discovered that there's ways to generate uh and do business you know not having to chase your friends and family and so you're yeah. you're learning how and attracted to i would assume the idea of real skills uh, marketing to a cold audience, generating clients from the marketplace. What yeah. light bulb started to go off for you, either those or others, as you were going through the 15 day challenge and, and, and even set you on fire to wanna? You mentioned upgrading into our flagship blueprints program, which, yeah. by the way, my friends, many of our clients, many of our guests, many of our successful students enroll in our business blueprints. It's not a requirement. No. Uh, it's, it's not something that we force you to do. Um, mm -hmm. You can go through the challenge uh, and not take the blueprints. Um, it's really your choice. You have, to, um, you have to decide what's best for you if you want the additional support, if you want the additional accountability, if you want the additional skin in the game, if you want the additional coaching, if you want the ongoing workshops decade in a day, there's a lot of benefits. There may be one big benefit to you, which is save the money up front and try to figure things out on your own mm -hmm. or what's left on your own. Go back to YouTube University, whatever. What 
what light bulbs went off for you and what was the thing that made you say, yes, hey, I want to take this seriously and do everything that I can to give myself an advantage? I saw the potential and I saw the success that other people were having. I saw the transferable skills that were taught. And I realized like people with existing businesses, if I would have had this knowledge and this information when I did those MLMs or when I did drop shipping, I wouldn't have spent, you know, on drop shipping, I wouldn't have spent thousands on ads. Um, on MLM, I realized I could have created a, you know, Instagram account all about that product instead of trying to sell it to my family and friends. It was just this huge light bulb of this, you could do anything with this information. And um, it just inspired me. I have so many ideas of different niches I can go into with this. Um, currently, I am in the wealth niche. And the reason I chose that is because I want to help the me's of the world. I want them to know that this knowledge is out there and it's accessible and you can learn it. It's beginner friendly and you could take this and apply it to your business that you're struggling in. You can apply it to a future um, endeavor that you want to do. So it's just super inspiring. Wow. That's, um, that's amazing that you point that out about the, uh, about the transferable skills and the fact that they could have done you so much benefit if you would have had them in previous ventures. I feel the same exact way because I failed myself forward in several ventures back in yeah. 2009 and 10, which led me online because mm -hmm. I had burned my bridges in a sense. You know, I didn't have a ton of friends and family, but I had enough and I ran through them a couple of times. And so they saw me coming. You know, I was at that yeah. point slapping a magnet on the side of my old 1994 <laughs> F-150 driving around town hoping that somebody was going to, you know, be attracted to my rusty truck and give me a call for my cell phone service that I was selling for an MLM, <laughs> yeah. you know, yes. <laughs> um, and it's like, you know, wow, uh, there's a, you know, 8 billion people, roughly half of them last time I checked are online and I can tap into them and I can do business with them. I can do repeat business with them. Uh, you know, I can build an all, I can build a business from, you know, a few hundred to a few thousand raving fans or people that are on my list. So you have begun to build a quite an audience. I believe you have went from zero, started with zero, and now you have something like 60 or 70,000 followers across all your platforms, something like 40,000 on Instagram or something. What is it like now to have an audience of people who, you know, are, are following you, <clears throat> listening to you? Um, tell us about also your, your email list. How big is that? Just how... And how did you, how, what is it like now to have these <laughs> assets um, that, that you can use to be able to market and quite frankly, keep church and state separate and not mm -hmm. have that infiltrate your personal life? Remind us a little bit about some of what you have built out, on, out there online so we can understand what you've created and give us a little bit of a timeline of, about mm -hmm. what it's, you know, how long it's taken you and some of the phases you've went through in growing that audience. Yeah. Okay. So currently I'm up to 90,000 followers. Um, I think I have 30 on Instagram, um, 30,000. Um, and it's so weird. I look at my husband, I'm like, is this real life? Like, this is crazy. <clears throat> and, you know, going back to like limiting beliefs, I'm like, no one's going to want to follow me. No one's going to want to hear what I have to say. Worst case scenario, I look silly online and that's it. I, you know, I can stop it if it doesn't work, but holy moly, it worked <laughs> and it's working. And I have thousands of email subscribers and it's, <clears throat> it's crazy. It's really bananas that I have these people who are, who want to change their lives too. And who trust me at least enough to follow me and I get so many, so I use many chat. <clears throat> and when I look at it and I see the thousands of times it's been triggered of people, you know, asking for help, it's, it's inspiring and it's a little baffling and um, it's kind of humbling that people trust me to allow me to show them the way. I love that perspective. Let's get some banners going up. Uh, for people who want to get started, they can go to legendarymarketer.com forward slash enroll. 
Uh, if you want to take the challenge, <laughs> if you want to buy the blueprints, if you want to get get into a mastermind. Uh, and after we let that sit and marinate for a couple of moments, we'll we'll share share some sh- social media profiles and um, uh, you know get some people you know over there uh, following you and and giving you some support and you know giving you some more uh, people who are are listening and learning from you. Um, so yeah, I love. And obviously, there's that come results and in, in, in money and, and so forth along with that, or else I would assume you have you wouldn't still be doing this. Um, yeah. <laughs> but you know uh, the the uh, um, but that that you know what I think a lot of people don't realize is is that the real currency nowadays is eyeballs. You know, you first build eyeballs and sort of like um, field of dreams. If you build it, they will come. You know, if you build it. They will come and then and then the money will come. Mm-hmm. Um, and one of the smartest things that everybody should be focusing on is not um, it's not how, what's how much money did I make today? Mm-hmm. It's how how can I grow my audience, generate more leads, serve them better and, and introduce them to things. And if you do those steps correctly, then the money will follow. Right. Uh, mm-hmm. the, the, you have to you have to get in the mindset of reverse engineering instead of what we do when we go into a job, which is how much does it pay? You know, how much does yeah. it pay? How how much are you making? You know, we yeah. usually come home from a job interview and, you know, it's nice to hear. But if you know you're you're in a, a you know, a, a difficult financial situation, you know, the spouse is like. Oh, that's so nice. Sounds like, you know, you found a really nice opportunity. And what they're dying to say is, how much does it pay? Uh (laughs) (laughs) And so entrepreneurship is a little bit of a reverse engineering process because we don't know. We have no idea how much it pays. We're comparing. (laughs) We've seen things online. We don't we have ideas. But the truth is, is that if, if you take the approach of building your audience, of delivering value, of building your email list of then introducing them to, 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 um, you know, solid, uh, solutions, then, um, then that will all come. So we've heard some of the results and some of the things that you've built. When did you start again? So I started in, so I purchased in July and I sort of started posting at the end of July and I got a little distracted. One of the things that you talk about is the shiny object syndrome. I kind of had that. And I went off course for a few weeks, a month. And as of October, I didn't, I felt like I didn't um, fully sit down and figure out this is my strategy of what exactly what I'm doing. Um, So I mixed in a few things and I'm like, oh, that wasn't a good idea. And so as of October 1st, Um, I had a few thousand followers, October 1st, head down with a strategy, posting three times a day. Um, And so since October 1st has really been like the the core of my growth and everything I've been doing. So, I mean, we're really talking here, um, October, four months or so of of good, solid focus. Okay. Yeah. yeah, so that that that's a great segue into my my next question, which is, you know, what are you overcoming? What have you overcome in order to get here? And one of the big things you pointed out was the shiny object syndrome. The yeah, distract, <laughs> the distractions out there. Before we talk about what else you've overcome, what other things you are overcoming, let's talk about that a little bit more. What did you? What did you learn that you didn't know now about shiny object syndrome that maybe if you were, you were telling, you know, we have a lot of friends here, but if you were telling your kid or your friend or your husband or your mom, you know, they're about to walk this path, what advice would you give them? How would you, how would you let them know about the landmine in particular of shiny object syndrome, why it's so appealing some of the Mm -hmm. psychology maybe also that's built in to all of us that may even be a survival mode. Right. I I don't know. You, you tell me from your perspective, but, but, and also what you learned from kind of suffering from shiny object syndrome (laughs) yourself recently. Yes. So 
I guess the biggest thing is shiny, shiny object syndrome. It distracts you from your main purpose. You know, I found all found legendary and I knew exactly what I was going to do. And then I got distracted and it took me off the path of absolutely killing it that month. You know, I, if I would have just kept my head down and focused, then the result I'm seeing now would have come a month sooner. <laughs> you know, it, it delayed, um, the progress that I would have seen. Um, and the grass isn't always greener on the other side. You might see someone else having success with something, but how much time did it take them before then to get that into place? So whatever path you're on, if it's the right path for you, continue down it. Don't get distracted, head down, put in the work. It's not going to happen overnight, which is what I wanted. <laughs> <laughs> Even though this is not a get rich quick scheme um, or plan, you know, you want that. And um, that's one of the reasons why shiny object syndrome is sometimes so appealing is because you're thinking like, oh, that maybe that's going to get the money quicker. <laughs> and um, so don't do it. <laughs> yeah. I love how real and raw you are about it uh, because it's true. You know, everybody is always like, well, it's not a get rich quick scheme. And it's not, but damn, you wish it was, right? You <laughs> yes. Wish it was, right? I mean, yeah. who doesn't? You know? I mean, if you I'm like, if find you me had, one of those. Know, <laughs> right, kind of like the meme where the guy's sweating, like looking at the two buttons to push, yeah. and it's like, get rich quick or get rich slow. Which one are you gonna pick? You know what yeah. I mean? So yeah. it's it's we all kind of say it's not a get rich quick because we want to say the right thing, but internally we actually wish that it was get rich of course, quick. Cause right. Who, we all do want uh, it to be easy. Yeah. Yeah, totally. And, and I think the thing is, is there's nothing wrong with that. Like there's nothing wrong with wanting that there's nothing wrong with wanting fast results, but here's what I've found um, is that things always take longer than we think they're going to take. And when we actually get to wherever we are going and feel like we're accomplishing we look back and it it usually it, it's like damn that didn't take as long as like i you know it, there were some ups and downs there were some hurdles it was hard at times but i look back and it feels like the time's flown by right think yeah. about your life friends uh-huh do you look back at your life and say god i feel like i've been on this planet for thousands of years no you look at your life and you say god bless how in the hell did I get what I'm 40 holy shit you look at yourself in the mirror you're gray you're you know things are start gravity setting in and it's like what in the <laughs> hell where'd the time go I was just a you know young kid frolicking holding hands running through a field of flowers not too <laughs> long ago I was just getting married the biggest one is our kids like grow up so fast right it's like <laughs> because they do they do <laughs> Yes. So it's like, yeah, when you're in the moment with your kid having a tough moment, it feels like, oh, my God, this is never going to end. And then it does. And then yeah. you look back and you're like, man, those were the days. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're yeah. grateful. You're grateful for those problems. You'd get, have anything to go back and go through a, another one of those challenges with your little tiny baby. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we're, 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 when the baby won't go to sleep. You know, when you first have a kid, it's like, oh, I don't know what I'm going to I'm so tired. Oh, I'm not getting any sleep. It's always <laughs> the same thing, right? But then when your kids grow up, it's like, man, I'd give anything to just hold that little sucker one more time. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. you know, it's, it's, it's weird. I, I threw in the old survival skill thing, and I think that a lot of the way that our mind works is a conditioning of thousands or millions of years of developing survival skills and it's smart to not have your eggs, all your eggs in one basket. Right. Isn't yeah. it? it isn't yeah. it a survival skill to have multiple sources of food? You know, if you were a, a, um, uh, you know, a barbarian, it, it'd be better to have three fruit trees in a field of Buffalo rather than one fruit fruit tree in one <laughs> Buffalo. Right. But in modern day society, at least the society that I'm living in, we pick one spouse. <laughs> we live in one home. We have one job, right? And, and, but sticking with that one thing 
helps us to have success, right? If you were going out on a date with a different man every night, not putting your eggs all in one basket, how would your marriage and your husband feel about that? (laughs) Not too great, huh? (laughs) Right. So the same applies in business. We have Mm -hmm. that nature to want to diversify our risk and, you know, have our eggs in one basket. And that can be an intelligent investment strategy once you actually earn the money. But in business, the single focus of putting all of your energy into one thing and getting 100% back versus scattering that across multiple things is the way that the majority of people build wealth. If you look at the richest people in the country, they built it from one business Mm -hmm. or at least one business at a time. Look at Mark Zuckerberg. You look at, you look at, um, you know, Jeff Bezos, you look at, you know, I'm talking about the billionaires of the country, talking about the multi, multi multi-deca millionaires. These people built it from one cash cow business, then diversified on the back end. Exactly. And then a lot of times we hear, you know, wealthy people that all of a sudden are wealthy and want to talk about their diversification, or we look at people on Shark Tank getting into multiple businesses. But again, that's their chapter 25, not their chapter one. Yes. And so we have to remember that in our chapter one, if we want to get significant results, we need to put everything into what we're doing. And you know what? If, if, if for some, I did have a situation to where I put everything into what I, into an MLM back in 2009. And I was mm-hmm. going around running, telling everybody about the cell phone service. Buy, refer free, get yours free. Da, 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 da. You know, done mobile. Wow. It was called wow mobile. Wow mobile. Refer free, get free. <laughs> da, 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 da. And then the company shut down and I did look like an asshole because I had been, you know, like a, like a salesperson for this company. Um, and I was kind of left holding the bag. I didn't have any transferable skills. But mm-hmm. what we're teaching you here, my friends, is skills and strategies that, as you pointed out earlier, Rosanna, are transferable. And we, we, we want you to be dependent entrepreneurs and marketers, not, excuse me, independent, not yeah. dependent, right? Not dependent on a specific company, not dependent on a specific person. Now, I don't want to be your guru. Right. I don't want to be I don't I don't have a desire for fame. I don't have a desire for uh, power. You know, I don't personally. And, and, and I'm at the helm here. So it's not I'm not trying to build a, you know, billion dollar brand where everybody worships me. I don't I don't want that. Right. I, I, I try to be as human and regular as possible. So people realize I'm just a regular guy. Right. Just mm-hmm. a regular person who's been on this journey just like you, you are today. So we've yeah. covered shiny object syndrome. We've, we've covered the focus that it requires. And that is a superhuman power. It, it's, it's once you nail it and really understand it, it becomes a superpower. It, mm-hmm. it makes you, you, know, you begin to get results that are much different because you set boundaries. You cut people off who are toxic or no longer bringing value to your life. You learn how to say no to things, to set boundaries. You also learn how to set boundaries within your own home with letting your family know. Has that been something that, what has it been like for you to having tried so many things in the past to get the support of your husband, your family, even some friends that you may still have left? I don't know if you're in the NFL like me, the no friends left club after all <laughs> of the different things. But what, what, just before we move on to other things you've overcome in the application in the business, What have you had to overcome, if anything, in the dynamics of family and friends um, life? So I have the best support system in the whole wide world. (laughs) Okay. Okay. So that's Um, not really an issue. No. So I'm super duper close with all my sisters. um, And I have what we call the eight best friends that anybody could have. And they're so incredibly supportive. And my husband is my rock and has been so incredibly supportive. I've started waking up at, so I used to just let my alarm go off or let the kids wake me up at, you know, whatever time we absolutely had to get ready for school at. Um, And instead I started waking up at Like I did, like I did this morning. Yes, (laughs) jelly. Uh, So instead I started waking up at 5 a.m. so I can come down. (laughs) 
<laughs> you get your own hat toss. You. Um, so, so I can come down and I can prepare for my day and, um, you know, get my reels ready and just have the mindset of here I am working on my business and I've already gotten all this stuff done before my kid wakes up. Although sometimes my three-year-old comes down with her to-do list before I'm ready for her. <laughs> so yeah, uh, great support system and <clears throat> change things, but my husband's super supportive. <laughs> Oh no, I've lost you, Dave. I'm I just muted myself because my team is oh. playing around with my mute button back behind stage. I must have some background noise or something they're trying to cut out. Do you hear oh. background noise? No, I don't. Oh, okay. Well they're just they must. The maybe the tech gods. I think it's the Joanne gods. You know, <laughs> She's uh, after you. <laughs> got guiding the show somehow, the executive producer. Um you know, uh, that's a big lifestyle change that opens up a lot. We got to find pockets of time, you know, where mm -hmm. we can. And I'm also so happy that you have that, that support system. What else Thank have you. you had to overcome with building this? I mean, was getting on video a challenge for you? Was comparisonitis a challenge for you? Yes. <laughs> um, was, was the, talk to us a little bit about some of these big <laughs> barriers that if you didn't overcome them, you wouldn't have had success. One of the big barriers was actually scheduling out time. So before, you know, in the beginning, I was, you know, being all willy nilly about it. Um, I was motivated, but I <clears throat> hadn't yet started waking up at 5 a.m. <clears throat> and that was kind of like the big change that was like October 1st, started waking up at 5 a.m. And really treating this like this needs to get scheduled in or else I might not make have time for it. I just wanted to point out you that was the big change. One of the things mm -hmm. that, that changed there in October, just for anybody who was just doing the dishes while you were talking about that, because, um, you know, platinum nugget success leaves clues continue. Sorry for interrupting. No, no problem. Um, so changing my schedule so that it actually was scheduled and, I, you know, it was it was happening. Um, overcome. So my videos in the beginning were so incredibly like. I had no idea what I was doing. I just started posting and it was when you look back at those videos, it's pretty bad, but you know what? <laughs> I was doing it. Um, and you know, that's half the battle, just waking up and just doing it and making it happen, whether it's pretty or not pretty. <laughs> you learn as you go. Yeah, totally. Um, we all, we all have cringy videos. I still do cringy stuff. I mean, <laughs> same. I mean, <laughs> I mean, look at what I do online every day. It's unbelievable. I'm sitting here with the with the with throwing the hats and everything else and acting like a fool and t saying I just rolled out of bed. I mean, come on, you know, it's, it's ridiculous, <laughs> yeah. you know. Uh, but you know, at a certain point, you stop trying to be. Uh, you 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 either kind of find your own voice and get comfortable in your own skin, or you <laughs> you, you continue to suffer and and <laughs> you both get no results and also have no fun doing it. Mm -hmm. Um, so, you know, I see that you, you had mentioned you're in the health niche. We're sharing your digital growth gal Instagram. Talk to us a little bit about niche selection and mm -hmm. why you've chosen to do the various things that you're doing and give us an overview of kind of what you are promoting and, you know, why you're promoting those things and kind of how you're keeping it organized within your own head and your own business. Yeah. Um, so <clears throat> wealth niche, I picked it because for, eight years, I've been looking for a way to earn income online that was sustainable, didn't take up, you know, eight hours a day. Um, I didn't have to deal with customer service. Um, so the business model just looked phenomenal to me. Um, and the, the reason Wealth Niche was like, this is what I just, I have to do it is because I saw the potential for myself, but I know there are thousands of people out there who aren't getting to spend nights with their kids, who are, you know, working two jobs, who are 
um, away from their kids for like 10 hours a day and they get two hours with them. That is like literally the biggest scam in the whole wide world to only get, you know, especially moms, you raise these, you carry them for nine months, you want to be with them. And after four months, you're told, nope, you have to go back to work. You have to give your baby to somebody else. And I'm not okay with that. And I want these women to have a choice and a chance to have a better life. <laughs> yeah. Men too. Don't forget about the men. <laughs> that was the, that was the multi-hat DDT. Thank you. So yeah. that makes a lot of sense. Talk, talk to us about the health niche and any other uh, passions or, or, or verticals, niches, as we call them, you've pursued and why you have gone and also how you're kind of keeping everything together and balancing things and not kind of getting overwhelmed. Dave, are you saying health? Oh, I thought you said health. I'm sorry. No, Dave. <laughs> oh, okay. okay, I'm sorry. I thought you said, health, okay. at the, I thought you said no. health at the beginning of the show. Okay, no. wealth so, needs. Mm -hmm. I, yeah. I got you. Um, so, yes, that's a, that's, a, that's a niche that you understand and that's relatable to you and that you're able yeah. to, to talk about. And that makes a lot of sense. That's, that's yeah. what so many of us do when we first come into online marketing and building a business what what can we talk about what are we passionate about a lot of times it's what's important to us in our life right now and yeah. for a lot of us coming in that is developing some skill outside of our job that is making money online that is having a side hustle so we tend yeah. to gravitate towards that niche that makes perfect sense and yeah. um, i want to remind everybody on here that that's it's not a requirement to go into that niche mm -hmm. It's it's um, it's truly a choice that you get to make. Uh, it's not a requirement to be an affiliate for Legendary or any other company out there. You get to choose. Yeah. You get to apply. You get to go where you feel called or where you feel is a good fit for you and then the audience that you want to build and attract. And I think that's really important that you manifest and kind of have a vision for what you want to create instead of just looking at other people and copying what they're doing. So yeah. let's go back to your videos. How did yeah. you, how have you developed your own kind of message and voice versus potentially just, you know, trying to sound like other people? Did you struggle at all with your own imposter syndrome, with finding your own identity? You're laughing. This must resonate. Tell us a little yeah. bit about it. <laughs> I mean, you know, and even now there's some videos out there that I'm like, that is so incredibly valuable. I am going to copy that. I make it my own in my own voice and, you know, give it a little twist, but, um, some information out there, I do still copy because it's so important. I do want people to know about it. Um, but you know, at first you're just trying anything you're throwing like noodles at a wall and hoping they stick. <laughs> um, and so I've tried all sorts of things, but you know, when people have, ended up going down the same path that I did because of videos that they've seen of mine. It's been, you know, them searching for, you know, uh, an, a side hustle um, or them seeing that, hey, you know, like we've gone into debt paying for Christmas my whole life until this year. And that, you know, that really resonated with someone being like, you know, I want to learn those skills too. And I want to see what I can build. Um, and so, you know, I do a few different kinds of content, but side hustles, the reason I do them is because that's what I was looking for when I found this. I was looking for a way to be able to make money. And so I want to share, scream from the rooftops about all the different ways people could be making money online out there and that suffering in a nine to five isn't the only way. And that example about being able to afford or not going to debt for Christmas presents is a real thing for you, right? That's a ah, real example yep. that you, okay, wow, mm -hmm. that, that is powerful. Yeah, I love that. Um, it's a great example of, of um, an outcome that can, can be created uh, from, you know, what we're doing here and, and having mm -hmm. a business and being an entrepreneur and finding the thing that's a good fit for you exactly. is uh, to, you know, before we make millions and before we all those things, uh, you know, most of American needs to pay off credit card debt, needs to get out from under the, the Rob Peter to pay Paul model, uh, mm -hmm. the living paycheck to paycheck, uh, you know, the, the unbelievable amount of stress that is accumulated in the body, in the mind from uh, not being, a, from, you know, there being more month at the end of the money uh, every month, you know, yeah. 
Um, yeah. And uh, I, I don't think that until you get out of that sort of financial burden of debt and living paycheck to paycheck, do you really realize how stressful that was? It almost becomes a way of life, right? Mm -hmm. For so, so many how has your life changed in, in terms of your stress levels, your time freedom? What are some of the things that you've benefited from in terms of uh, just maybe things we wouldn't know if we hadn't talked to you and got a little bit, we've gotten some challenge, we've understood some struggles, we, we've, we've known what <clears throat> the, the timeline has been for you getting here, your mm -hmm. shiny object syndrome, all that. <laughs> what, what all else? What else, uh, what, what other areas have you benefited from here? Maybe you talk a little bit about your own, whether it be your lifestyle or your personal confidence levels or self-esteem. Um, yeah, all of the above self-esteem. Yes. You know, just the, you know, I'm, I'm here on a live show on Facebook right now. That's bananas. <laughs> um, so one of the things that this has done for me is, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I actually got a client that I'm now helping them build up their Instagram and make sales in their business. And so the, um, potential and the possibilities with this are endless from the knowledge that I learned through legendary and it's increased my confidence to be able to go and help someone else instead of, you know, limiting beliefs, kicking in being like, Oh, I did this once. I don't know if I could do it again. I know I can. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I love that. And yes, getting clients, there's so many different ways to use these skill sets to be able to build our business and generate streams of income, starting with the core four business models that, that yeah. we teach here. Um, uh -huh. So what have you learned about yourself through this process? I mean, obviously, you've, you've already outlined a lot of things, tendencies. I hear a lot of tenacity, you know, um, but golly, what what? What haven't you mentioned that you've learned about Rosanna through this journey over the past four months about your potential and about what you are capable of doing and or anything else that comes up for you that's an internal win? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so I'm the youngest of 13 kids and... <laughs> Right. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. My mom's amazing. My dad, super, just the, the best little lovebirds ever. They married when they were in, um, like just out of high school, they were high school sweethearts and, you know, they were before my dad passed, you know, my mom's in her eighties. They were married all those years and just a happy, loving couple. And one of the pieces of advice that she has always given people is, Love is a choice. Wake up every day and make it. And I transferred that to this business. You know, being su successful is a choice. Wake up every day and make it. And I, you know, I have decided that there's no other choice. This is it. Like, I'm going places. <laughs> and, um, I can't even remember exactly what your question was, but it's <laughs> like, well, this is a beautiful story. You don't have you. to stop. I, I asked what you've learned about yourself. through this Yeah. Journey. So just how powerful I am and that I can make a decision and I can make it happen um, no matter what. And I've already made the decision that this is the thing that's going to retire me early. That's going to retire my husband early. This is the thing that's going to give me time, freedom, um, financial freedom to be able to spend these young years with my kids. Because although the days are long with them, like you said, the years are short and I don't want to miss these moments. And so this is the thing I know. And I've learned about myself that I am powerful and I'm going to make this happen. <laughs> so Beautiful. Love it. Uh, this yeah. is, this is great. I'm, I know your dad would be so proud of you. Uh, your mom most likely <laughs> definitely is. Yeah. I'm so glad to hear that you have uh, the closeness and the support that you have in your friends and family. Phenomenal story. And lots of love and support in the comments for you. Hopefully you can go back and check them out here. Once <laughs> the show is over. <laughs> Thanks for pushing through your nerves to help us end this week on a powerful note, an inspirational note. We've Thank learned you. so much from talking to you. 
Rosanna and come back and see me, okay, in the near future. Oh, I will. <laughs> With less nerves. Hey, you've done great. I wouldn't even Thank have noticed. You. Awesome. So. Thanks, Dave. Have a good one. You could go back to All bed right. now. <laughs> have a good one. All right, my friends. Uh, that's funny. Um, it is. That's right. Uh, Kayla, the days are long. The years are short. That was a that was a nugget there at the end. Uh, team, let's post some of these comments up on the screen as I close this out, just to recognize some of these people who are leaving some amazing comments. Your digital gal growth gal is where you can find Rosanna over on Instagram. Your digital growth gal. Um, uh, go and check her out. Go and follow her. Um, let's put that up back one more time. Sorry. Your digital growth gal over on Instagram for anybody who wants to go over and check out Rosanna, follow her, learn from her, your digital growth gal. All right. Back with some of these comments. Thank you so much. Uh, everybody. What a great interview, Tiffany Mitchell. Absolutely powerful, powerful interview this morning. Um, Lee, uh, Will, Kelly, Sue, absolutely. You're so very welcome. It's our pleasure. Thank you all for, um, you know, for tuning in, for leaving these amazing comments. Roseanne, of course, for um, just a powerful show this morning to end the week. Uh, it just keeps getting better and better in terms of just these, not to say that all of our guests aren't always awesome, but they just stay awesome. Uh, it's, it's amazing how many uh, amazing people we have in this community. Thank you all for being a part of it. Thank you all for spending an hour of your Friday morning with us here to wake up legendary, to inspire yourself, to have a, a, a productive day and to move into the weekend with intention and inspiration. Uh, we will see you back here on Monday for another episode. If you want to in between now and then get started or start over with any of our education, you can go to legendarymarketer.com forward slash enroll. That's E-N-R-O-L-L, legendarymarketer.com forward slash enroll and get started or start over. Sometimes that's what you need is to start over and that's okay to start over. Give yourself permission to fail forward. Give yourself permission to not be perfect. Give yourself permission for it to be ugly. Give yourself permission for it to be whatever it needs to be for you. Stop comparing. Stop thinking that it has to look a certain way. Give yourself permission for it to be your way. Do it your way, okay? But just do it. Just do it. And if you don't do this, follow through with whatever it is that you're doing. There's no requirements or, or, or uh, forces here. We, we don't want to force you into doing anything. Uh, even if you're not going through our course, damn it, I hope Wake Up Legendary was valuable to you this morning. Uh, and that it inspires you to commit in the direction with the business that you are uh, wanting to work with, because what it, it takes is consistency, commitment, and work ethic, and to stick with something, to see it through, to see it through the difficult times to where you can get to some, some of the successes, and it feels like it was all worth it. If you give up before the miracle happens, then you know it's, it's, it's just wasted time. Uh, nothing comes fast, nothing meaningful and worthwhile comes fast anyways. It's a process of molding, of pressure, like, like what creates diamonds. It's a process of developing and growing, okay? Yes, you're going to have your toddler phase. You're going to have your awkward adolescent phase, and then you're going to mature into a business, sometimes quickly, sometimes slowly, my friends. But stay the course, and you'll be amazed by what you are capable of. Get out of here, my friends. Have a wonderful and legendary Friday. Thank you all for the amazing comments and support and validation and compassion in the comments. It's always a pleasure to be with you every morning at 10 a.m. Eastern time. We'll see you back here on Monday for another episode. One more thing. If you want to get a text message reminder every time we go live so you can know if you're brand new here and you want to get notified whenever we go live on Monday, Text WUL to 813-296-8553. Just text the words where you would normally put the text like, hey, David, we just put WUL and then text that to 813-296-8553. You can unsubscribe at any time. We even give you instructions on every text of how to unsubscribe. But if you want to get a notification to make sure you don't miss an episode, text WUL to 813 
Get out of here. Peace.